Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, today we're going to be in John chapter 19. I think it's interesting that this all, I didn't plan all this, that we're, we're talking today about the crucifixion of Jesus on the same day that we're celebrating the birth of Christ. Uh, I, I think that's really awesome because we wouldn't be talking about the birth of Christ if it wasn't for the death and resurrection of Christ. So John chapter 19, the is contains the the story of the of the beating and the crucifixion of Christ all the way up to where Jesus declares it's finished and gives his last breath. This the storyline in John 19 that always impresses me though is Pilate's response to this entire thing. He has several conversations with Jesus throughout chapter 19. He basically is to me coming off as trying to save Jesus's life. I think he realizes that the charges that the Jews have brought against Jesus are trumped up and, and not legal, uh, but I also think he's afraid to stand for Christ because he knows it could cost him his position of power and authority. But several times throughout Scripture, Jesus asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? And who do the people say that I am? And now here Pilate is asking Jesus, who do you say that you are? And Jesus, of course, response is that he's the king. He is king of the Jews, but more importantly, he's, he's our king. And Pilate ends up putting this inscription above Jesus' head, which is custom to put the crime above the one being crucified. Uh, but the Jews didn't like that he put on this sign, the king of the Jews, uh, but it, it's interesting, I think that's Pilate's kind of way of getting back at them, uh, because that's the very charge they brought against Christ, and the reason they wanted him crucified. Yet here they are not wanting that displayed above his head, or at least not written in that way. Uh, but man, it just, today as I was reading that, and I'm thinking about the birth of Christ, and all that it means, and man, today I want, I want you to seriously consider who do you say Jesus is? Who is Jesus to you? Uh, the Jews didn't want him to be king, so they crucified him. Their anger, their greed, it kept them from seeing who Jesus really was. Um, I think Pilate was getting glimpses of it. I think that's why Pilate was afraid or, or hesitant to crucify him. But even Pilate's own selfishness blinded him from seeing the full truth. So who do you say Jesus is today? Um, try to remove all your biases, all of your uh, preconceived ideas, and just really, who is Jesus? Is he your king? Is he your crucified savior? Is he your comforter? Uh, is he your truth? Is he your confidence? Is he your boldness? Is he your peace? Is he the, the way, the truth, and the life? He declared to be many things, and we've seen him declare those things all throughout John. But today I want you to really ask yourself, who do you say that he is? Pilate announced to the world that he's the king of the Jews. The Jews tried to deny it. But today, who, who would you declare Jesus to be if somebody asked you? It's an interesting thought. Well, guys, have a great Christmas, and we'll see you tomorrow for John chapter 20. Have a good one.